Hey guys, it's Mr. Stark again, just kind of going over some basic residential stuff. Uh, what you see here right now is a kind of, it, it's an older fused panel that's got some really cool features and I felt the need to kind of bring this thing back to life because even though this was ripped out of somebody's old house and then they ended up getting an upgrade to a 200 amp service, uh, I, I like this panel and I like to use it for instructional purpose because it's made really, really well. And let's face it, some of the students today, they're just not gonna see this stuff anymore, especially things that are made out of pure copper. So this panel is live and uh, I have a service here that's three phase 208. So don't be you know, uh, swayed by any voltage writings that are on here. I'm in a lab setting, I'm not in a uh, residential setting. So my service is three phase 208 and I'm feeding this with single phase 208 to represent a 240 slash 120 volt panel. Uh, but I did want to show you, it's kind of a nice display of neat and workmanlike manner. So even an old panel could look really nice. And for some of you new guys out there that you haven't seen this in a while, these are fuses. So if you're looking at these nice glass little fuses, that's, that's what they are. And we also have some pullout fuses. So if you take a look at this 60 amp pullout fuse and a 30 amp pullout fuse, this would have been used for your range and that would pull out. And then you can see you have your fuse cartridges in there. And if you flip this upside down, you could actually have the circuit off. See how it says off now? And then you don't have to put this on the ground. So if you're working on servicing anything, just flip it upside down, kind of cool. But if you ever had a problem, you'd have to change that fuse and get to your EW or uh, Gray Bar or Home Depot or Lowe's and try to find these fuses. 30 amp fuse, same thing, pull out smaller fuses and we would power up a dryer with that. And I got that here as a dryer receptacle and a range receptacle. Uh, what else is cool about this is the main breaker actually pulls out too. So if I yank this out, of course, everything will die in the panel. And I've got two big fuses behind this pullout and this will flip upside down too. I'll show you that in a minute. But you know, how do you know if you have a bad fuse? Well, it's quite easy. Most of the time it looks pretty burnt, but my lights are powering this. So if I just took this thing out, you can kind of see what a fuse looks like for a newbie, you know, just the typical Edison base. And uh, you would see that cartridge inside there. Maybe you can or can't see it on this video. That metal tab in there would be burnt or cut or broke. And that would indicate a bad fuse. And you could certainly test the fuse if it was bad by testing between the screw shell and the nub of the fuse to see if you have continuity. Now, what most people do, unfortunately, in these older houses, when the fuses blow, what do they usually do? They put a bigger fuse in. And we can't do that because according to Article 240.4, we, we deal with small conductors in the code book and a 14 gauge wire has to be tied onto a 15 amp breaker. A 12 gauge wire has to be tied onto a 20 and a 10 gauge wire has to be tied onto a 30. Unless you meet the other provisions in the code, which are exceptions to the rule, usually dealing with uh, motors and hermetic refrigerant devices. So. Pretty cool panel, uh, brought back to life, perfectly functioning. If used right, the sink could last forever. But then we take, you know, we, we, we get out of this scheme and then we get into something more new. So had a girl wire this last year and she did quite a nice job and she included a transfer switch and all the circuitry for the transfer switch is nicely bundled up in the bottom of the panel so that nothing gets uglied up on the sides of the panel. Maybe that's for a different lecture. But you can see how we've changed our panel schemes and, and how things have grown over the years. And you know, the bigger the house, the more stuff you have and the bigger the panel you need. Back then with this panel, you didn't have anything big. You just had a few things in the house and that's, that's really all you needed. But now everybody's got these huge houses so you need a lot of power. And the codes change a little bit too. So uh, just keep in mind, you know, you, you will dump in, you're gonna bump into different kinds of panels out there in the field and, 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 and be ready to, you know, check them out. Take a look at them, see how they're designed differently. Hopefully this helps a little bit and uh, we'll see you at the next video.